guys. So we are here. We're taking a little adventure this weekend. Um, and we're first stopping at a destination that I went to on the uh, day after Christmas last year in my vlog. And I've been dying to go back to it. My mother's been dying to try. It's Govinda's uh, Indian Buffet. It's completely uh, vegan and vegetarian. Are you excited? I'm so excited. But you look pretty. Look, you're, you were matching your uh, water bottle decor here. Uh, you're, you're, you're pink and purple. It's a good color on you. Thank you, Angel. You're so sweet. So, yeah, I just reapplied a little sunscreen. Um, last night, guys, um, I've been making my way through the Hadalabo Super Pack of uh, sheet masks simply because I have so many and I want to use them to form a good opinion of them and I'm really enjoying them but last night I went back to an old favorite I did the Momotani sheet mask I, I'm rationing that one out and I just really love that mask I swear every time I do it it's fantastic that one definitely is fragrance free and very low irritancy I enjoy it quite a bit I did it underneath my um, Daiso silicon overcoat so yeah But yeah, it's a, um, it's like a church or a place of worship, and I think there's a school here as well, and then they have a restaurant, but it's so beautiful. It's like a palace. <laughs> the food is really good. <laughs> you can eat Thanksgiving here, look. They have to crowded. Good deal. So it tells you what all of the different ingredients are: cardamom, chili, cinnamon. Got nice looking salad. Ooh, they've got beets. My favorite. Basmati rice, dal. Looks good. Okay, so this is some cold items. Uh huh. Basmati rice. Red lentils and dal. Mm. And then this is the chutney. It's a mint chutney. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I'm anxious to try that. Too. Yeah. God. Cool. I got something similar. This zucchini um, dish that I got. Basmati rice, um, the lentils, and this is cauliflower and potato. Looks so good. The mint chutney is always well. It's really good. Yeah, I'm trying. Did you get some? I didn't get any this time, but I'll, I'll probably Take try this one. I, I will, yeah. I'm not going to do what I did last time. I I accidentally took too much of this stuff. Is it hot? It's not hot, but it's, you're, you're only supposed to have a little bit. It's, it's, it's kind of salty. Oh. Yeah. But well, it's I good. I think I did that when we went to the When we went to, um, what's that place called? Shiva. Shiva. Shiva, yeah. Yeah. This is my one of my favorite though, this place. I think it's the best in, uh, vegan Indian place. Vegan Indian. Yeah. yeah. We also got some non vegan. <laughs> one of the things that I read that people people always say and it's kind of redundant is people say non bread and it's like stop saying <laughs> I think that's non, right? Rio Grande River? <laughs> yeah, correct. <laughs> I have a little bit of lettuce in my teeth, but you guys, that book, Fates and Furies, it, is, it has gotten exponentially better. It started out kind of boring. And I'm at a point now in the second half, of, the second half of the book really picks up. It's really good. I think it's, it's definitely better in my opinion, just as far as kind of pulling you in than Gone Girl. It's not the same kind of suspense, but it's very good. I think you would like it. But the writer does a really good job, I think. Lauren Graff or something, I think it's her name. Yeah, she writes really well. I'm also enjoying my audio book. Uh, Manhattan Beach. It's kind of enjoyable. What'd you think? Like oh, it? Oh, it was very, very good. <clears throat> yeah, it's one of my favorites. They had this little treat called mango hal havala. That was really oh, good. Oh. Yeah, really, really good. Oh, we need to find the recipe for that. That was so good. 
It was a dessert. A little, yeah, um, it was a little sweet. It was again. a little mango, um, mango little cake. destination. Um, we're in sort of a rural area of, um, called Magnolia, Texas. We didn't say where we're going. We're out of town. Uh, there's a festival in this little town and the little town is relatively close to Houston but it's far enough that we kind of just wanted to stay nearby because there's a lot of traffic in and out of the festival so we figured we'd just stay here the whole weekend. Now you'll recall I had a very nice time when I stayed in um, in New Braunfels. I'm not saying that right, I know, but you know, with my Airbnb. And I mentioned that sometimes, for the most part, Airbnb is, is a hit, but occasionally it's a miss. Um, this time may have been a slight miss, but no, I don't think so. It's it was, fine. it really was all there was available, okay? It's fine. Uh, it's there's, it, we're just out in a rural area and we don't need to advertise. Well, you want that won't go up anyway. The place. The place we're staying is not bad. It's it's safe and clean. That's all that matters. But it's not glam. <laughs> it's no mi casita. Hey, we're not glam. It's a little. It's a little. It's a little frat boy couture. We'll just put it that way. <laughs> but hey, I mean, it was all that was available. <laughs> It's better than rushing to get back and being stuck in traffic. And oh, it's a hundred times better. Yeah, than that. yeah. Because the thing that we're going to tomorrow is really popular, and there's a, it's really hard to get in and out. So we wanted to get there and enjoy it. So, and but that's it's what we're gonna do. But it's a fun little area. It's, you know, cute and quiet out here. It's like an old country road that we're walking on. I just hope we don't get lost. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It's always a possibility, a remote possibility. <laughs> Ooh, look at this tree with the red leaves. That's pretty. Okay. Right there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm glad we left when we did, though, with yeah. traffic and everything. There's a pond over here. Let's go look at the pond. I think that might be on their property, no? Probably. Cool. Here comes a car. That's a pretty tree. <laughs> He's so scrappy. <laughs> Look how sweet he is. Can you guys see? <laughs> so wagging his little tail there. Hi, little skunky. <laughs> cutie. So pretty and quiet down here. <laughs> All right guys, well we have to be honest and show you the Airbnb even though it is not exactly a luxury landing, but hey, it's, it's fine. Nice. You're okay with it? It's fine. <laughs> All, it okay. All it needs is a foosball table. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. Look, we've got crown molding. <laughs> you you want to play flip table. cup? <laughs> It's okay. It's fine. We have a pretty a nice kitchen. I will say that. So we'll just open the door here so you can see. But you can see it's out in kind of a rural area. It smells nice out here, like pine trees and flora and fauna. Maybe we'll see some deer. Who knows? Um, then we come in here to our comfortable abode. And we have 
an ironing board should we want to iron our clothing. Um, and I guess we could envision that a table and chairs might go here. I'm not sure. Um, and here's the kitchen. We have a fridge. So <laughs> these are our little uh, staples that we brought. <laughs> I got some of this Pacific Organic uh, Butternut Squash Soup, the low sodium one. I really like this. I thought it'd be a good one to have. And then I just brought some tofu that I have here. I don't know if we'll eat that, just you know, in case of emergency. Um, and then I brought some pumpkin to uh, put in brought some pumpkin to put into oatmeal because I also brought some of my oatmeal. I thought we could make some pumpkin pie oatmeal in the morning, but I don't know. I don't really see a pot here, so that may not be an option, but I bought some, brought some oats from home and <laughs> don't ever leave home without your nutritional yeast shaker. And Oh, I'm excited to try the chocolate matcha from the matcha reserve. I just finished the mango one, so we're going to try out the chocolate one. And I just brought some of this apple pie spice to flavor the oats with. And then an assortment of beverages here, coffee and FRC. These are the uh, the Starbucks Via um, instants uh, that I brought because... Uh, doesn't look like we have a coffee pot or a kettle. Okay. Um, and then I also brought, this is some of that um, blue adaptogenic uh, protein powder that I got from Moon Juice. Um, I don't know that this is necessarily worth it. I think they just put some kind of blue color coloration into um, essentially brown rice protein. It doesn't have much of a taste. I don't think I would repurchase it, but hey. The packaging was really cute if you saw me do that unboxing, so I tried it. It's fun. I like it, but I'm probably not going to repurchase that one because you can get brown rice protein for far fewer dollars, although it doesn't turn that colorful shade of blue. I didn't notice any adaptogenic benefit, though, with the, with the protein powder, but I'm still loving the beauty dust. Speak of the devil. Brought a little sachet here of the dust. Hopefully I get to ingest that tomorrow. And I also brought some raisins. And a little measuring doohickey, an eighth of a cup. All that handy dandily. Oh, and I also brought some of this Whole Earth Stevia Monster Blend as a sweetener. Another thing I never like to leave home without. So those are our snacks. Oh, and then the other snacks that I brought. Guys, look what was back in Ibotta. The Superfoods, the Rhythm Superfoods Beet Chips. I love these. So I got three of those. So we've got those here for snacks. And then um, we brought some of these in case allergens are high and we get coffee and raspy. I brought, my mom brought these Nescafe Classico ones. These are also pretty good if you guys have ever had them in a pinch. You like them, right? The Nescafe ones? Oh, yeah, they're so nice. Yeah, they're pretty good. And so just moving along the tour, you're putting your feet up. Hi, everybody. It was a nice walk we went on, huh? Yeah, we had a very nice walk. We saw some really cute uh, puppies. Yeah, yeah. We also have a printer there in case, you know, we want to print off something and some uh, custom artwork. Kind of looks like an intern, a, a prison camp, but it's okay. She has a mirror here, and so she can shoot selfies. And a closet. Oh no, this is her bathroom. Washer dryer, mambo combo. And then, and here's where I will be sleeping over here. You know, this is a closet. Sorry, <laughs> I thought that went through, but my mom has her own closet. Right here. And these are the uh, Couture Luxury uh, bath products. We have Suave for men, Irish Spring, Pantene for the ladies, a little Suave Daily Clarifying. Um, okay, looks clean. And we've got our linens here and a jar of peroxide, toilet paper, a bar of soap. That looks like a stratum corneum annihilator there. Um, and 
Here's my skincare line up here. I've got, this is what I bring in my travel bag for a face wash. I really enjoy this uh, La Roche-Posay Tellarian line. Uh, it's got ceramides in it. It's very gentle. And I don't love this Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm, but it's the only one that I like enough that comes in a travel size. So I have the travel size of it um, for my travel bag. So I take my makeup off with this, and then I take the um, balm off with the La Roche-Posay while I'm in the shower. And then when I get out, I'm gonna be using the Simply Pure Hydrating Serum uh, Moisturizer that you guys sent me. I love this stuff, fragrance-free, has ceramides in it. And then I will, this is, um, I still use a little benzoyl peroxide and I just keep this one in my travel bag. It's La Roche-Posay Ethiclair Duo. It's okay. Um, it's just 5.5% benzoyl peroxide. It's too expensive to warrant the price for 5.5% benzoyl peroxide, but I've had the sample and I just keep it in my bag. Then I got my Differin and my Maybelline Colossal and a little bit of contact lens solution if I need help, but I've got I've got my daily, so I don't really end up using much lens solution anymore. The lighting in here is so, so fab. And then moving in here, you know, a bunk bed with no top bed, but that's okay. And then we've got a closet here. Um, interesting, and a fan. So yeah, that's the tour, and my mom is gonna take a little nap here, and I'm going to uh, edit the vlog, so that is what is going on. Well, hey guys, I just got out of the shower. My mom took a little nap there and then took a shower herself first. Oh. What'd you think of the shower? Oh, it was fine. Yeah, it was you a liked really it? Nice shower. Yeah, it was really nice. Um, so, cute little shorts you thanks. Want. Yeah, I've got my Totoro, Totoro socks that you guys sent me. And these are just some uh, Christmas PJ shorts that I got at Target last year. And where are your pajama pants from? These are from Target as well. Oh, cute. Wow. Yeah, in the shower, I took it upon myself to sample a little of a product that you had in there. She had the your Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. Yeah, that came in my Walmart Your Walmart box. beauty box, right? You like it? And it's all right. Yeah, I it's all right. Yeah, so here I show you guys. I tried it myself. Um, it's this Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. Um, you guys have seen me review the um, Carell uh, in shower uh, moisturizer, but this is a Jergens Wet Skin one with refreshing coconut oil. It does have a uh, fragrance in it, but guys, this is basically just a Jergens lotion. This is just, I, I mean, it goes on fine on wet skin in the shower, um, but uh, I didn't. I don't know. I don't notice it being any different than just any regular lotion with a little bit of coconut fragrance. It does smell nice. It smells nice, I, right? I used the Irish Spring Body Wash. Oh, you did? So, I uh, sniffed a little bit of that um, because um, this is a three-in-one marketing here where you're supposed to be able to shampoo, condition, and bathe all in one bottle. Um, that's pretty handy dandy. Oh, what did I take my makeup off? Yeah. I snitched a little bit of your uh, foaming cleanser. Oh, the La Roche-Posay one? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I I use that. It's good, right? Yeah, it it's good. Really well. Yeah, yeah. I used some in my hand, uh -huh. and then I took it in the shower and mm -hmm. used it in there. Yeah, it's, it's not so drying, good. right? You like it? No, it's no, really it's moisturizing. I put my moisturizer on. It's the Aveeno Positively Radiant. Oh, you're using the Aveeno Positively yes. Radiant. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good one, huh? Yeah, I like that. You use that at night? The yes. uh, No, I have the Neutrogena, uh -huh. and, but I don't want. Oh, you have Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair that yes, you use at night? Use yeah. That, but for the trip, I just brought But this. you've been wearing that in the daytime? But yeah, I brought along, as far as a body moisturizer, the CeraVe Eczema Soothing Creamy Oil. It's okay as a maintenance body moisturizer. It doesn't mix well, though, with my shower routine, and that it, does, it, it makes kind of a gloopy mess if it comes in contact with wet skin. Then I also brought this for my daily sunscreen. I've really been enjoying this. This is the uh, one from Europe, so it has different filters in the ones here in the US, but it's really moisturizing and I like it. But tonight, after I took off my makeup in the shower, as I described, I stepped out of the shower and put this directly onto wet skin. I let it dry, and then I just put a few dabs of diff, as I showed in my last nighttime routine the other night. A few dabs of diff, and a few dabs of duo. Oh yeah, because you had another nosebleed. Another nosebleed yeah. situation. I did not want a third one of those. You had a second one. Oh, it was terrible. Yeah, they tend to occur in batches. Oh. 
I too had a little touch of one the other day, but mine was definitely not as as um as bad as yours. Well, I hope you don't get another one anytime soon. I hope not either. They're they're a pain. They're really a pain. But yeah, you're doing the right thing by putting Vaseline in your nostrils. Just keep it, keep it moist. Make a little little yeah. seal there. I'll go put some more in now. Yeah. So yeah, that's the nighttime skincare routine. I don't know what we're gonna do. Probably uh, we're streaming the Harry Connick Jr. Christmas Station on Pandora, but I think my mom has had about enough of it. Anyways, oh, I realized when I was editing the footage from Govinda's that I said called that naan, but I don't know that it's naan. I have this problem. I don't actually know the names of a lot of the Indian foods and I say them wrong because I have a hard time remembering them because I'm so focused on how delicious everything is. I'm not like forming a, enough of a higher association with the name. I'm just, oh, the taste. So I need like a flash card where the, where the smell and, and taste of the food is no longer in there. But it was good, right? Yeah. Really good. Anyways, guys, we are going to maybe watch a movie. I'm not entirely sure. And uh, get probably cozy. Um, have a fun time tomorrow. If you know where we're going or have an idea of where we're going, please don't spoil it in the comments. <laughs> um, no spoilers. No spoilers, but... I'm gonna conclude the vlog here. You wanna wave good night? Good night, everybody. So if you like this video, give it a We're thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.